For those of you that don't know what a fractal is, this is what it looks like. You're able to zoom in and zoom in and just keep zooming in with no end. However, fractals are much more than just some fancy shapes. The Fractal Book by Mandelbrot describes how with fractals, we can have fractional dimensions, which are strange because we are used to two or three or four dimensions, but we've never heard of 2.5 dimensions or 3.6 dimensions, which fractals allow for. But the most interesting point about the book is how nature can only be described by fractals. And I'm going to take it a step further and say everything can only be described with fractals. In 1913, John Paul Jones made a world record for fastest mile run in 4 minutes and 14 seconds. Year after year, the world record would go down and down, 4 minutes and 12 seconds, 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Eventually, it would go all the way down to 4 minutes and 1 second. However, there was a scientist in 1923 who proved using math and physics that no one could run a mile in under 4 minutes. But then in 1954, Roger Bannister proved him wrong by running a mile in 3 minutes and 59 seconds. Even if a scientist proves that you cannot do something, someone will still always find a way, push themselves just a bit further, break their body, and still go against the laws of physics push themselves just that bit further. When I was in college, our math professor showed us this graph for a problem. On the x-axis was the amount of time you spent studying, and on the y-axis was how good you got at that skill. Now, it doesn't matter if you understand the graph. The point of the graph is to say that you have a limit to how good you can get. No matter how many hours you spend, you will only approach this limit, but you will never reach it. In reality, learning something is much more like this graph, which is called an exponential graph. You start off learning slow. Once you build the fundamentals, you start getting faster and faster. There is no limit. You can just keep pushing yourself one step further. <laughs> one plus one is obviously equal to two, right? Well, here's a proof that 1 plus 1 equals 2, and it is extremely complex. The reason for this complexity is because proofs in math, each step can be broken down into 100 more steps. Reality is, these basic rules can be broken down further and further, leading to an infinite level of detail, which sounds a lot like our fractals. I take the analogy further and compare it to our thoughts, ideas, and opinions because every decision we make is based off some rules that we follow, and these rules can be broken down further and further, and maybe along the way we will find that there is some rule that either isn't true or just can't be proven. So maybe there is no right or wrong. Back to the main point of Mandelbrot's fractal book. Nature can only be described with fractals. One of the examples he uses is that to describe a tree, you could use a cylinder, but a cylinder is too perfect, it's too smooth. So you could add detail to it, but even then you could zoom in further and find there's more detail to be had. Scientists originally started with just three elements, earth, water, and fire. But we know that's not what everything is made of. Scientists found out that everything is made up of these molecules, these many, many molecules, and they went further and found those molecules are actually made up of atoms, which are the basic building blocks of the universe. But, but they aren't. They zoomed in further again and found those atoms are made of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And again, those protons are made up of what are called quirks. This is as far as we've gotten. Reality is, we will just keep zooming in further, trying to find further basic building blocks. And I have a theory that there is no limit to physics. We can just keep going further and further and find that there will always be another basic building block to our universe. Okay, so what's the point? 
A fractal has unlimited detail. Everything you see or think or do also has unlimited detail. The point is, you have no limit. You can go to the ends of the earth and then go further. You can push yourself to your limit and find out that is not your limit. Become the absolute best at what you're good at and then become better. Nature is a fractal anyways. Why couldn't we be?